Because we approach math in a playful way, my students actually remember what they learn when we do math. We reach more children because a lot of students need to have it in their hands to actually understand what's going on. I believe that working this way does help students to think that they can be a math person. We are starting a new theme about uh, geometry. So we want them to remember all the words they already know about geometry and we want them to kind of think, okay, I, I know something about this. We started with an activity where they work in groups and in the groups they would have to draw a circle. We didn't tell them how to draw the circle. We just gave them a piece of string and uh, something to draw with and told them make a perfect circle. They could make it big if they want to, they could make it small. They got some small pieces of paper with some words on them. Words like radius, diameter. So in the play lab, the students are allowed to write on the tables. The students find it funny because it's something that they cannot normally do. And also, they tend to do everything bigger when it's on a table. And when they do things really big, it's easier for them to work together and talk about it. We took a big basket. And then we drew around it on this table, because this table is made out of uh, plexiglass, so we can draw on it. Me personally, I, I want to learn like more doing things with your hands. It's actually more fun. Sometimes it can be hard in math to actually get the words into your own mouth, because if it's only a lot of writing or a lot of calculating, it's like you don't use the words. And if you don't use the words, you tend to forget them more. The next activity, they had to build a cube and they had to build a pyramid. And again, we didn't tell them how big it has to be or anything like that. And then they had to look at this figure they built and guess what is the volume of this figure. So we wanted them to guess before they just calculate because it makes them think more. So it's like to force them to actually think, okay, how big is this figure? Is my number correct? If they actually had a, a good guess or maybe not so much. They were very creative in ways of like using extra sticks to connect everything and being almost like small architects trying to make things really last instead of just falling down. It's always nice when the kids work and you see emotions like happiness and laughter and stuff like that. But you also see them being, for example, frustrated because sometimes it doesn't work. So in playful learning, the teacher has to step back a bit and let the student do the work, but we also have to be there to support them. Sometimes with regular teaching, you get through a lot of things, but it's hard for them to remember what they were actually taught because they didn't get it into their hands, they, they were not creative, they didn't see the meaning and why should I remember this? When you work with playful learning, in the end, you might not have as many different themes, but the themes you've had, they will remember more than, than if it was uh, traditionally teaching.